Hi class, I'm going to show you how to do a point centered quarter method for, um, this is for density. So density is always, you know, how many per unit area. So how many per acre, how many per hectare, something like that. <clears throat> um, we probably wouldn't use it for grasses because a lot of times with grasses, it's hard to tell one individual from another. So it's a, a method where you've got to be able to be able to tell one individual from another. And typically, we're going to use this for bigger plants. So we're going to use it on um, woody plants. And it's a really easy method for woody plants because you don't need a plot. It's also called a plotless method or a distance method because we just measure a distance. And then we write that down. So, um, but that'll make more sense, I think, in a minute. So, you would still run your transects like we have this. We're at South Pasture, so we would have that baseline going down there, and we would run transects out, and, you know, every 100 paces or 100 yards or whatever, the first thing you're going to do is mark a center point. We just stuck one right here because, you know, we're here. So, this flag is marking. This is where we ended up, and we just stick this flag in the ground. Now, it's called point centered quarter. This is our point center, and then we make quarters. And you can make them however you want to, but you're just divvying up the area around this point center. You're just dividing it into four quarters. So you could do it with flags, but we have tapes, so we put these tapes down. point center and then here's a quarter here's a quarter here's a quarter and behind me here's a quarter okay now um, I think we're ready to get started then so Joey and I are going to show you what we do from that point so somebody will stand in the middle I'm gonna let you take that because you'll need to call out the measurement okay and you'll hold, I'm just going to hold this end of the tape here in, um, at my point, at my center. And Joey is walking with the tape and he's measuring the distance. We're measuring to woody plants, so he's just measuring to that closest woody plant. And we're going to use um, meters and centimeters. So what do you got, Joey? Uh, 3.5 meters. 3.5 meters. And what species is that? Uh, Granjeno. Granjeno. So, let me show you your, so, um, we're on transect one, this is plot one, there's going to be four measurements for each point that you put down, it doesn't matter where you go, which one you measure first, but we had Grand Hanyo, so I'm just putting Grand and 3.5 meters and you'll do that in all four corners also I want to point out your lines don't have to be north south east west they don't have to line up with anything at all just as long as they're you know just as long as you've got pretty much four equal quarters to go from so let's go ahead we'll go ahead and measure these four quarters and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, here's the second one. And don't forget um, to look for little guys because there's some trees over there but Joey found a smaller deal right there. Is that another Grand Hanyo? Okay, 6.4 Grand Hanyo. All right, so this is our third quarter. And if you look at this plant, there's a plant where um, our, our line to divide our two quarters, here's one quarter, here's another quarter, our line went right through the middle of it. But we want to count it on the side that it's rooted in. And I think it's rooted in the side that's on our left on the camera and Joey's right so we're gonna count it for that quarter because it is the closest one 
in that quarter. 1.7 meters. 1.7 meters. Grand Hank. Basically just completed our first point. So we have these four measurements for our, we've got a measurement and a, spree, and a species for each quadrat in this first point. And you would just go along your transect and keep doing that, you know, so you're going to have a bunch of species here in this column and a bunch of distances here in this column. Just videotape me. <laughs> okay. Look at so the ground. The math here is super easy. We called it a distance <laughs> method or a plotless method because you're going to turn that one distance that you measured, you're going to turn that into an area. How are you going to do that? Basically, you're just going to square it. So, um, first, you go through and add up all the distances that you took. Um, that is your total distance. Divide all those distances by the number of distances that you measured. That's your mean distance, okay? Now you've got a mean distance, you square that mean distance. And so if your mean distance was 2.5, you know, uh, meters, once you square that, it basically gives you, now you've got a mean area. So pretend that you just took that line and you turned that line into a square. Thank you.